Hey guys, welcome to the kitchen today. Today we're going to be making paleo eggnog and it's going to have a twist. The recipe calls for adding the ingredients together. You don't have to cook them and chilling them, drinking it, or you can do the cook recipe. We're going to do the cook recipe because I want mine more like a creamy custard type substance. We are not adding alcohol. You can add alcohol if that's what you want. One of the reasons for making this eggnog is I have lots and lots of eggs. I wanted to do this at Christmas and didn't get a chance to. So today it's kind of cool. It's kind of rainy outside. We make eggnog. You can do it any time of the year. You don't have to just do it at Christmas. And my purpose is to substitute one of the ingredients. Well, I'm substituting several ingredients, just saying. And then we're going to have a topping, but if this works, you can take this eggnog and you can freeze it. And from there, you can take it out in small quantities. I'm probably going to freeze it in like little cubes or something. And you can use it in your recipes for cooking. And you can put it in cakes and cookies and cupcakes and pies. And you can use it for your coffee. There's multiple ways to use eggnog. It's not just for drinking at Christmas, guys. The first thing we need to do is we need to have our egg yolks and this recipe is calling for four egg yolks and you're going to be adding your vanilla and your spices and your um, sugar to it. Okay, so we are going to fudge a little bit. I'm going to add the vanilla and I'm adding the cinnamon. I don't have nutmeg, so I'm not putting that one in, but if you like nutmeg, whatever, if you like rum flavoring, different things, you can add that at the end. But right now, cinnamon and vanilla are the two things we're adding. In place of any sugar, one recipe called for honey. Well, we're not doing honey and we're not doing maple syrup. Hey guys, we're doing the deep south cane syrup. And I'm not going to sit and whisk because I've got to get to the other part too. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add the um, syrup. And we're going to add the vanilla and the cinnamon to the eggs. And we're going to let them just kind of go on their own. And I know I'm missing it a little, but I like cinnamon, so I don't think it's going to hurt. I'm going to turn this on, let it be mixed until they're kind of a yellow color. In the meanwhile, we're going to heat the milk. We are not getting it boiling. We're just going to heat. Okay, so in this we're going to be adding almond milk. We're not using regular milk. Like I said, this is paleo. We're doing almond milk and coconut milk. So I had about one and a half cups of almond milk and we're going to do one full can of coconut milk. Now this is going to change the flavor from the original eggnog that you would buy in the store. Because of the coconut milk, it will have a different taste than the almond milk. It'll have a slight nutty and coconutty taste. And because of the cane syrup, it's going to have another different taste. So I don't want this to get too hot. I've got it on a medium-low temperature, but I want it to get warm so we sit and watch it for just a few minutes we have the mixer turned off for just a second so i can talk but i'm fixing to temper the eggs with the milk because it is warm i'm going to add just a little bit of milk at a time and because i don't have kids to help with this process i'm using a mixer a stand mixer uh, if you had another person, they can use a whisk, things like that. I could sit and be doing the whisk and adding a little, but it's easier to have this mixer going. So we're going to add a little bit of milk mixture to the eggs a little bit at a time until we get it so we don't cook the eggs. And then we're returning it to the pot to cook for five minutes to kind of thicken up.
Okay, now that I have it all together, I can whisk so I can use my, my hands instead of a mixer. But it is pretty much mixed up. You see the frothy goodness. We're returning it to the stove and cooking it on a medium heat for about five minutes. And we're just gonna keep on with the whisk here on the stove for approximately five minutes. I can already tell it's trying to thicken up. And the frothiness is going away some, so we're gonna keep this going. While our eggnog is cooling in the fridge, we are going to make the egg whites to add to it in a little while. What we're doing is we take the egg whites, a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla, and we're going to beat them until it gets really, really stiff. This is where a stand mixer comes in handy, guys. So we want stiff peaks in here. And this is getting there. It's not quite what I want. It's still a little bit soft. So we're gonna go another couple of minutes. This is where a hand mixer comes in handy because with this, it takes a long time if you do it by hand. Now we have this at stiff peaks. You see that? It is really thick and frothy. And what I'm gonna be doing is adding powdered sugar. I'm gonna add about a half a cup maybe. I don't even know if I'll add that much, but we're gonna add a little bit of powdered sugar to make it a touch sweet because we're gonna be adding some of this into the eggnog after it chills and some of it's gonna be our topping. What we're going to do is add a little bit to maybe a cup of this to our eggnog and blend it in really good when it's um, when it's chilled. And then we're going to put a dollop on top. And for the kids, I've got sprinkles. Have you ever wondered what you would do without Cool Whip that you can run by in the dairy department? This is a meringue that tastes just like it. It is just eggs, cream of tartar, powdered sugar, and vanilla, and it's awesome. Who needs Cool Whip? Our eggnog has been in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. It's chilled down. I'm going to use my spatula, my rubber spatula, to add some of this back in to make it a little bit um, thicker. And we just kind of fold this in. I'm going to fix a glass. Doesn't that look awesome? What do you think? Homemade eggnog paleo recipe. Looks awesome, doesn't it? Paleo eggnog. The recipe is so simple. It uses up a lot of my eggs. 
and we used cane syrup and in, instead of honey or sugar and we used almond milk and coconut milk in place of cream and regular milk so let's see what it tastes like now that's some good stuff and on top we used the egg meringue instead of doing um, Cool Whip. Good for you. Mm. Tastes wonderful. And the reason I was doing this is because I'm thinking of freezing some of this and using it in cupcakes, pancakes. You can use it in your coffee. You can um, add it to your smoothies. You can use it for just about anything. Just cut back on the sugar and the milk a little bit. Should be awesome. Cheers. Paleo eggnog. So guys, eggnog is not just for Christmas anymore. We have plenty of eggs and this is some way that I can enjoy this off and on throughout the year. And so we will. The excess that I have put in a quart jar. So I'm going to be putting some in a little mini ice cubes I have to see how that works and we'll freeze it and then we'll test it to see how it does to add to something after it's been frozen. So that'll be an upcoming video. Check that out. Um, I kind of followed Sarah's um, recipe from Living Traditions, tweaked it a little bit and added the meringue. This is Paleo Eggnog, Deep South Way, with cane syrup, and we added almond milk and coconut milk. Good for you, Paleo Eggnog. Thank you, guys.